my question is about the insurance companies especially the health insurance companies possible now they said it will be one time the premium will be raised this year also they have raised it the same mediclaim now is that possible without giving any reasons without giving a calculations and things like that that's the way they no, started no, no, recently no, here you see one point i must clear in a consumer course whether the rates fees or the charges levied by any organization are not justiciable in the consumer court they don't have the powers whether the rate fixed by insurance company right. or the rate fixed by any travel agency or by any service provider or any telephone company or whether they are fair or not that is beyond the purview of the consumer protection act of course there are different avenues and as i told mr kini also earlier there are issues like this when we find that there are certain things unfair but they may not necessarily be illegal you know they have to be part on a different platform and in a different way because then it, it comes to the question of policy and the policies are to be framed by the government then we have to do the lobbying by the consumer bodies and then with proper representation lobbying and advocacy then we have to get such things changed here also what happens is the same thing that in the area the interested party the powerful like right, insurance companies and now there are private players also so they have they will a tremendous pressure on the government so the policies are invariably in protected the service providers so we have to build up a cloud for the consumers and it is only when we can really build our cloud then we can also equally pressurize them and then we can influence such policies around there are some banks that uh, impose a charge annual recovery charge and also charge for checkbooks now is this valid these charges are not under the purview of the okay. government provision and who should what charge how much <laughs> what should be the price of my product is not to be decided by the consumer court but once the price is determined and then if you are charged extra then you get a cost no. but what should be the price what should be the service charges in fact there are other issues are there i just heard from somebody that nowadays the lawyer is required to represent in consumer court is not necessarily the lawyers but it is any advo- i mean any person who can fight his own battle number one is the consumer secondly the consumer can also authorize any other non advocate person yeah. to appear on his behalf yeah. that is a legal position yeah. but what you say is practically correct in the sense the state commission has recently issued certain directions to the registrars of the different registry forums and all and has made it practically impossible for a lay person or even the authorized agent to represent a consumer cause or a consumer case because it is so technical and all that thing that it is almost a replica of a civil court so that is there but uh, not standing there there is no bar so if somebody puts his foot down and says that no i want to appear he can appear and even a non advocate and a non consumer can also represent a consumer as of my question is that can you do something about getting these consumers over pitted against the knowledgeable knowledgeable advocates can they get some help from these bodies they will help like a, like like a, like a, they are given in the uh, other courts a advocate is given to a person who can argue with you no know, what we do in mumbai as i mentioned as i clarified earlier also basically we can't give the advocates and we don't give advocates what we do is we guide the complainants and we guide the complainants at every stage in fact sometimes we get at our complaint guidance say first we tell them that okay it's a fit case to go for this you go to this particular court and all how to file the complaint we tell them after having filed the complaint then they get a reply from that then they again come to us then our volunteers guide them okay what sort of a reply you should file now but if you ask us that you give some advocates or some activists like that we don't do that because we have our own limitations it's not a really a very happy experience so you know that we should fight for that court appointing the thing instead of that as i said the consumers themselves should get empowered and strengthen themselves rather than again you know court may appoint anybody and uh, then again it is not of your choice instead of that as i said earlier 
Consumer Protection Act is not that complicated. The consumers know their issues well. They should get involved. They should take the assistance from the consumer bodies, consumer activists, and fight their own matters. Uh, how the consumer, you know, know that uh, this property is in uh, builder's name or his company's name, and where the company, uh, where the attachment uh, case has to be filed? Is it in the consumer court? You have raised a very good question, and uh, let me tell you. In fact, uh, till recently. Even the, not only the consumers, but the consumer court judges were under the impression that it is the duty of the consumer to point out the property of the builder to be auctioned and all that thing, to be attached and auctioned and all that. Many times it happens, whether it is the builder or any other opposite party. When it comes to tracing his property, consumer doesn't know. Yeah. The law now is that, in fact that was brought to the notice of the State Commission and the State Commission has given a judgment and even in our Paranspe case in National Commission also decided and what they have said as per the uh, this uh, revenue code, it is not necessary for the complainant to point out that this is the property and that is the property. If you know it, it helps you and you say okay, this is the property located and so it's so matter is simple. But if you don't know, all that you have to give the name and address of the person against whom this thing has to be executed, then it is the legal responsibility of the local collector. And the consumer court has to only issue what we call it as a recovery certificate. Vasuli Praman Potra. He has to only, suppose you have value to be recovered from the builder or from anybody, say about 2 lakhs. Okay? Then the consumer court has to only issue a recovery certificate of that value in favor of the local collector and that collector has to employ his machinery to find out the property if any of that particular person and then attach accordingly. Yeah. This is regarding uh, some companies, I, let's say I buy a product, I don't get a product, I fight for it a, a long time and until ultimately I get a refund on that. But uh, I mean uh, I have uh, wasted around 3 to 4 months on that. So do I have a case in this theory? Yeah, I mean, you will claim the compensation also. That's where the compensation is there. You have to establish the loss. And the loss always is not necessarily in terms of the product value or something. There could be a monetary compensation or there could be a compensation for a mental agony. There could be a compensation for the cost that you incur in fighting the litigation and all that. Thing. So there are various things. You have to make a point to claim that. Uh, let's say I order a book from US and here. Uh, and if I don't get the book or some. It's defective. Can I approach the consumer court? No, they will not come under your jurisdiction. It's only transactions within India. But also, have, let me tell you one thing that when Indian your uh, travel agents, okay, or the tour companies, when they take you abroad and they say, okay, we'll put you in a five star hotel or four star hotel and then they give you a lousy hotel or so they skip some, some of the tours and all that thing, then in that case, although the cause of action has arisen there, you can fire away. In the case of financial products, can the case be made for uh, you know, manufacturing defects, for example, the ULIPs. Some of the ULIPs that were uh, earlier available in the market had charges of 67 and percent extra. Mm -hmm. So can you take a case? Uh, no, let, 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 let me tell you that uh, although you may prefer, you know, it's a jargon that is used that a financial product, which is technically different from the goods as defined under Sale of Goods Act. When we say a consumer of goods is not necessarily a consumer of a product, what we very broadly say is a financial product and all that. You know, sometimes we say oh, LIC policy is a product. We say, but it is a service basically. Actually, when we talk about the products in consumer protection, it is defined. It is a goods as defined under the sale of goods. Thank you so much. With that, exactly on the dot of time, we are going to close it.